Google Anti-Gravity is a new integrated development environment from Google with built-in AI features. It was released as a public preview last month in 2025, alongside the new Gemini 3 Pro AI model. But can Google Anti-Gravity replace VS Code for most developers? Today, I'll try to answer that question and provide a brief comparison between the two. Hi, I'm Nick and I've been developing software for over 20 years. On this channel, I share my experience, insights, and thoughts about IT. So, Google Anti-Gravity. Since it is built on top of the VS Code editor and looks very similar to it, many developers are now asking questions like, should I switch from VS Code to Google Anti-Gravity? Is this new IDE a full replacement for VS Code or not? In reality, the answer is not that straightforward, and here's why. Anti-Gravity fundamentally differs from VS Code's traditional focus on text-based code editing, even though it is built on a very similar foundation. Yes, you can use Google Anti-Gravity as a regular code editor and work the same way you always have. The interface will look almost identical to VS Code, nearly a 100% match, but that's only at first glance. The core idea behind Anti-Gravity is that it is a platform primarily designed around AI agents. You're not just chatting with an AI or using it for code auto-completion. Instead, you delegate complex multi-step tasks to autonomous AI agents. These two approaches, manual code editing and working with AI agents, are implemented in Google Anti-Gravity through two separate views, each responsible for its own role. The first one is the editor view. It has a traditional IDE interface that looks almost exactly like VS Code and is intended for writing and editing code manually. The second one is the manager view. This view is designed for managing AI agents. You can think of it as a control panel for orchestrating and monitoring multiple AI agents working in parallel on different tasks. For example, one agent might refactor a specific module, another might generate tests, and a third could be writing documentation, all at the same time and under your supervision. An important detail is that during their work, AI agents can have access not only to the code base, but also to the terminal and even the browser. However, there's no need to worry about excessive permissions. Everything can be restricted and configured in the settings. Another important concept in this IDIE is artifacts. These are additional outputs generated by agents during their work. Artifacts can include task lists, implementation plans, browser screenshots, or even browser session recordings. You can always return to them to understand why a particular decision was made and adjust it if necessary. In the case of the browser, for example, you can even review how the AI verified the completed work. At first glance, this sounds like the perfect solution, VS Code plus AI agents. However, there is one unfortunate drawback, extensions. Google Anti-Gravity does not have direct access to the official VS Code Marketplace. Anti-Gravity does not have a license to use Microsoft's Marketplace, which means many extensions are not available through the standard interface. That said, since Anti-Gravity is based on VS Code, many extensions still work, especially those available through the OpenVSX registry. Additionally, many extensions can be installed manually if they are available in VSIX format. Beyond extensions, there is one more important thing to consider before switching to Google Anti-Gravity, the available AI models. On the positive side, you get access to Gemini 3 Pro as well as Claude D models. On the downside, that's essentially the full list, for now at least. Hopefully support for additional models will be added in the future. So let's summarize. In my opinion, Google Anti-Gravity is a very promising AI-first development tool. At the moment, it is better suited for experimentation, prototyping, or as a complementary tool rather than a primary IDE. For now, I don't think it's quite ready to become a main editor or IDE. However, if Google continues to actively develop it and doesn't abandon the project, it could become a serious competitor to other editors as early as next year. For now, it's an excellent tool for improving your skills in building projects with the help of AI agents. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you soon. Take care.